Hi guys. We are starting a little winter packing road trip video showing you what we are going to take for our winter road trip down to see my family for the holidays. We won't be there for Christmas. My niece is getting married and we have the chance to run down and go to her wedding. And then my family is having a Christmas party the day after and then we'll come home. <laughs> it's a very short trip. But while we are there, we have the chance to maybe go tubing and or skiing. And so we're gonna take our snow gear, but also on our return trip, we're gonna potentially have snowy weather all along the route coming home. So in order to be safe and prepared, we are packing snow gear. So we've got everyone's snow gear. Only Ashley and Chelsea are coming with us. Kaylee and Abby are staying home. They have to stay going to high school. So we have Chelsea's snow pants and her coat, as well as hats and goggles in case she goes sledding. Who's um, I don't know. That's why we're trying to put them with each little set. Ashley has her boots and her snow pants, her snow coat, and then just a regular cozy coat for the car and like in and around town. And then I've got my boots down here, my coat. That will be my coat that I wear in general. This one will be the one I wear for sledding and for the wedding because it's a longer one. It'll look better with my wedding or with my dress. We're gonna try and put everything into these Costco bags so they're just contained and we can take them out in case of emergencies or we can take them when we go skiing or sledding. So I think I need to find one more bag like that. We'll put all the boots in one bag and the gloves. We can get, we can get more in there. Oh, Jason's challenged. Okay, we've got two of these Costco bags. These are all our snow gear supplies. We're gonna start making pile right here. This is my stuff for all the gifts and things I need to take for my siblings. And then I'm gonna, I think we're done with the wrapping paper box that can go out in the garage. Okay, next up is Ashley's. She's home for the day. Um, so she's working on her stuff. This is her little outfit that she's gonna wear for the wedding and possibly church. Or do you wanna take your other suit for a church? We need a white thermal thing. What? Yeah, the white thermal thing is in the laundry. So she's got a cozy outfit to just wear around the house at Grandpa's. And then we've got multiple little outfits and a couple extra t-shirts as well as thermals to wear for skiing or tubing, right? I know, we're waiting for the ski resort to open up the tubing hill, and then we're gonna decide if we get to go. So she's gonna wrap all these up, fold them. We're just gonna put them into a packing cube. Okay, we have her cube all packed up, and I've got the extra ones. I'm gonna take them up to do my bedroom stuff. And this did not fit into the pouch, so I'm just going to stick that in with the, um, the nicer, like my coat is right here it's going to fit in with the nicer coats that we're gonna wear around town. Um, this is our car snacks, I've already got our car snacks. So I'm gonna fold this guy up and we're gonna put that in with our nicer coats for around town. Next is shoes. We've got shirt, shoes. I don't need flip flops. I wish I needed flip flops. I need your boots for your church outfit. We're gonna make a pile right here. Yep. And then you're gonna wear your tennis shoes. And uh, I have my boot boots. I'm trying just trying to. Uh, well, she'll still be wearing those. So just put those. She's mm -hmm. gonna keep wearing those. Put those back over there. She'll wear those in the car. She needs her tennis shoes though. Does she have her tennis shoes at school? Or are they here? Those are Kaylee's. Maybe she actually wore tennis shoes to school today. Shocking. She would be shocking. Normally she wears. These guys, she must have had PE today. Haircut. You need a haircut? Okay. I'll Later tonight I can. So he's got his dress shoes. Last time we had to buy them at Walmart. Those socked. They did. Yeah, so we don't want to forget your shoes. You need to remember dress socks. Said shoe store owner. Chocolate. Chocolate. Your advent calendar for I today. To mail this package and take back those other things. Yeah, I have a note for you. Like a little <laughs> checklist. What else is going to be you need to go to get our dry cleaning and return the bells to Hobby Lobby, check our P.O. box, mail your package. There you go. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> and you're staying here? Yeah. You're going to 
twirl and she's trying to figure out where in grandpa's house she can do twirls and spins and jumps. Round she's offs. like round offs. Yeah, hitting myself. Downstairs, if you cleaned up the downstairs, yeah, you could probably, in fact, he had flooding a couple months ago, so it's probably pretty clean down there now with new carpet and all the, thus, all the kind of junk put away. So you'll probably have a good place to, to and then you won't be in anyone's way. All right, I was literally just finishing up editing all of my videos. This is a packing video, but I was gonna head up to finish packing my stuff, but my father-in-law just dropped off the disc with all of our photos. <laughs> Little sneak peek. You can't really see the screen. So, um, now, now I need to order my Christmas card. So I'm gonna do that really quick and then we're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna finish packing all of my stuff and take a peek at Jason's stuff just to make sure he's, let's just say dressed appropriately for a wedding and then church and skiing and he'll, he'll do everything fine for skiing, but he's ended up, um, out of town without shoes and without socks, without dress pants, without a tie. <laughs> this is why there are wives. This is why there's wives. So we'll go pack here in just a second. All right, so uh, there's not enough light up here. It's so dark in our room. There's literally only one overhead light and it's in the other part of our room. And then we have a lamp. Um, but we're getting packed up and it's really interesting we hardly ever go anywhere during the winter, so like we don't pack for cold weather, <laughs> you guys. I have to have a whole separate container for all of my socks, because they're like the big bulky smart wool socks, but then like a second pair at night, you like, after you've showered and cleaned up, I like to have socks on my feet, because my dad's <laughs> tile floors are so cold. Oh man, just like this, just this whole thing is socks. Like, it's crazy. So I'm getting all packed up with my clothes, I've got some extra sweaters. I have to do like a, this is what I did with Ashley and Chelsea. We're doing a t-shirt layer and a sweater or sweatshirt layer just to stay warm. And then again, like a t-shirt and a sweatshirt layer. And we're coming up with like emergency scenarios. Like if we get stuck at my dad's house because there's weather storms coming in and we just decide to stay there and stick it out until it's clear through. Which and we is could, your total favorite. It is my, it is my, I don't want to be away from Kaylee and Abby for that long. That's the only bad side is that I don't want to like not be with them. Um, and I have to get Christmas cards out. They'll be arriving while we're gone. So um, Jason has three bags. He's all packed up. Um, but also, but if we start the drive back and then we get stuck in the pass uh, anywhere along the way, they could just shut it down and we can't get home. So then we have to get a hotel and then we can't have the ability to wash our clothes. So there's multiple scenarios coming back um, with weather that could um, require us to have some extra stuff. So it's kind of where we're at. So we're all gonna sit, we're all gonna put our stuff into one big suitcase. That's why we're all doing our little pouches. The way I do it, no matter what kind of travel we do. Sorry for the really bad lighting in here. So I'm gonna fold all of my pouches up and then we're gonna open up the suitcase I'll bring Ashley's up here. Actually, I'll have her bring it up here real quick. Um, and then I need to get Chelsea's bag and see what she's got packed. And then um, the only problem is that one of my outfits, the one I wore for the family photos the other day, I'm wearing that for a holiday Christmas party tomorrow night. Not tomorrow night. The night before we leave, I've got it here hanging. And my, and my jeans are part of one to two outfits. Like if I'm going out to dinner with my siblings or something, it, this is part of my outfit and it, this is my outfit here for our family Christmas party. So I have to wear that and then immediately pack it as soon as I get home with lights better in here. I should stay in here. Um, so it's kind of like I can't get that dirty the night before we leave. Um, this whole outfit needs to get washed. I am falling. I have fallen in love with these black pants I've got on from Costco. Um, they're not quite yoga pants and they're not quite joggers. It's like this perfect mix and I love them so much that Jason let me get another pair. I have them packed. They're right there. So I've got one packed, but this whole outfit needs to get washed because I think I'm gonna wear this in the car. It's fun, it'll keep me warm, it's very comfortable and in and out of the car to go to the bathroom won't necessarily need to put a coat on, which will be nice. So we're nowhere close to being able to like fully pack up <laughs> or be done with laundry but it's just the process of knowing exactly what you need to do right before we need to leave. So 
let's get these pouches all put together and see if we can fit them all into the suitcase. We also need to fit all of our shoes in there, like our dress shoes and our anything that we're not wearing in the car the first day. We've already packed the boots. We've already done that. So let's see if we can do this. I also have a nifty little dirty laundry bag. I'm going to take this time. I don't think I'll waste time um, doing laundry when we're at my dad's house. I think we'll just bring home all the dirty clothes, put them into this pouch, and then I'll just be able to pack them right inside with the clean clothes, but not risk anything else getting dirty from it. All right, between me and Jason's pouches, this suitcase is now pretty much full. And so this space down here is going to be for my makeup bag, which I will show you here in just a second. So we just went ahead and used the duffel bag that was inside this suitcase. We just kind of store everything together. So we have Chelsea and Ashley's pouches, and then I'm gonna put all their puffy sweaters in here. Ashley has one more downstairs. She actually ha might have a jacket as well. We'll put the jacket in here, and that way I have room for our bathroom supplies. This one will fit into the car very well, and then between the two of us, that's easy to get into a hotel in case of emergency. We can just take these two bags in and leave everything else in the car. All right, I'm having to use my <laughs> little ring light to illuminate my bathroom bag here. I've kind of gotten a start to filling up my bag and using it to make sure I have all the makeup that I generally need. Um, I've got all of that in here, makeup pouches, makeup wipes, I've got all my makeup, a lotion, toothpaste. I went ahead and just went and got these generic 99 cent toothbrushes from the store yesterday for me and Ashley or Ashley and Chelsea. I don't think I'm going to take my big electric toothbrush just because it doesn't fit in here very well. Um, and then I have makeup brushes on the other side over there. And then in here, I don't think I have anything. This is just left over from Hawaii. Like I don't need a face mask, but I also don't need to take it out. So this is pretty much packed, but I will need my, um, actually I can probably just put that into the suitcase because I won't be straightening my hair anytime soon. So I will just need to pack a brush. And I think that's it. I think I have Q-tips packed. I have my setting spray. I have all my brushes. I have a lotion, just kind of going through everything. I might take this makeup palette. I'm gonna use it one more time um, for that holiday party that I'm going to. And then I think I'll take a bunch of hair ties. I'll stick those in. Um, and just in case we need those. That's why it's hard to film at night. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, I think I have conditioner in that bag, but I think there's probably shampoo at my dad's house. I do need to pack my medicine. What did I just sit down on? Oh, hangers. <laughs> um, I do need to pack my medicine, um, pack a few days extra supply for that. I don't know what lotion I should take. Maybe I'll get a little travel size. I think I have one downstairs in case I need lotion. And then, yeah, see, my, I need my injection pen. I need all those supplies. I'll probably do that tomorrow. Oh, yeah, perfect. I just have a little travel size, to, uh, not toothpaste, uh, lotion. And then I will grab my nice, um, I have Michael Kors perfume, but I don't want to take that big one. Where is my travel size one? Ah. I will want this one for the wedding and for my family Christmas party. So I think that's going to be it for packing. Um, I will have to add stuff as we go. I just, it's realistic. It's not like all pre-done and look how cute it is. My bed's made and no, that's not how I do things <laughs> around here. Sometimes it works out like that. Hawaii videos, I'm obviously like packed and prepared more in advance, but it's, I'm like, I'm swimming with my head barely above ground with the holidays and worrying about weather and all that kind of stuff. So if there's not much preparation <laughs> and making it cutesy and wonderful. So I'm going to sign off with you guys. We have to go get on a call for Abby's driver's ed. We have a parent meeting tonight. So, oh, goodness sakes. So I am going to Ha put some alcohol in here. This is what I use for my travel size alcohol. I have to clean the area where I do my injections. Um, and then I'm going to pack all of my little medical supplies. So nothing fancy. Just packing for winter travel is way different. I'm kind of glad we're not going on a plane. 
I can't imagine the luggage we would have to pack all the snow gear <laughs> to get into a plane. It would easily be a whole suitcase per person extra. I guarantee you between the shoes, the boots, the snow pants, the coats, I'm kind of secretly glad we don't travel on a plane. Although I would love to be going to Hawaii. Those are far less clothes than <laughs> you need to go to Hawaii. So if you enjoy, enjoyed this video, give it a little thumbs up. If you like to see us travel to Hawaii, that playlist is a fun playlist because it's Hawaii. We've been to every island, I'm just gonna say. And Maui is our favorite. You can go check out those if you need a little beach. I know I need a little beach right now. We haven't even started to plan that trip next, for next year. So we're gonna do the cold weather travel for now. Stay tuned. Maybe we'll do a warm weather travel in a few months. Take care. We'll see you guys next time. Also, stick around because we will be traveling very soon. Obviously, I can't give you a date because, you know, privacy. But you will see us on the road very, very soon. Of kindness yet for all.